marathon by the York Lions, the last two finals. They're not going to want to make that three in a row. And we're off to the races here. The Carlton Ravens sporting the white and black and moving. Not any strangers to each other. You know, like you said, as these two teams have been here in this exact same position for the last two seasons. And when you have York coming out on top both those times to stick it to their older brother and walk out with a win today, especially given that York hasn't lost to an OUA competitor in 52 consecutive games. To Marzouk. That pass is lost. Conte. There's some nice play here by the Carlton Ravens. I really like how they're building up their attack. We've seen so many times teams come to the air, and they have a lot of really big bodies on the defensive line. It's not easy to win headers against them. Carlton. Larea kicks it out. It's the fifth-year goalkeeper from Ottawa. Bitar chasing him down. Bitar was an OUA West first team All Star for these Ravens. Like I said, there's 12 All Stars. Tariq Ahmed Karyanovic again. And here's Mikhail and Christian Cavallini battling for it. Cavallini now decides to. Stay the right back. Cavallini with the header, but that will be right into the palms of Nick Jeffs. So far, not much opportunity for a goal from either side. Did see the Ravens with a couple scares that might have scared any Lions fan, but nothing that came to fruition. Carlton doing a great job of keeping. Will play a big factor here in this gold medal game. Everything's better with rep. Looking for Christian Cavallini. And that's booted out. Semi-final, Sinopoli also uh, had an injury. The physicality of the Varsity Blues really, really dealt a hand. UA in general. And they're, they're doing little things that we don't usually see them do. They're missing their passes by just a hair. They're, they're not really communicating well. But I feel like it's only a matter of time before the Lions really turn things around. Marzouk is Yorganika looking. Putinho to Marzouk. Marzouk is open. And he shot and it's deflected. What great defense. Great passing there in the box by the Lions. Dario Conte. And Tariq Ahmed. Hamad, excuse me. Especially against a team that's only allowed six all year in the Carlton Ravens. York is by no means out of this game. I think this game is just getting started. As everyone at home, buckle up. We are in for a quite the evening. It to Nika. Nika laying it off for Marzouk. And Marzouk's shot just getting blocked once again. So the long throw by Kiss. Out of second. There's Gabriel Batar going in gingerly, but unable to get anything to go. of the first half but do you think it's possible the way that they're playing i definitely think it's possible all you really need with this york team is one good one minute of extra time one minute for the coming out of this second half with a much more offensive approach mercy yuma number nine for the lions their leading goal scorer checking into the game as well as number 23 milan beater who is a striker as well so right now the lions going with a three strike Milan Beater, also who we haven't seen a lot of this season, but maybe they've brought him in because of the physicality, and you see that there. He is being physical with the Ravens player already. Well-timed comment there, S, talking about his physical. Brooks to Kisilyov. Looking for Yorga Nika, couldn't do so. That's Hamad looking for Karyanovic, and he finds him. Karyanovic now an opportunity to cut that lead in half. Yuma in the box. A pass to Cavallini. The pass to Yuma. And that is short. Deflected by the Ravens defense once again. It seems like uh, right place right for the Lions. Hamad to Mikhail. Back and forth between Hamad and Mikhail. Now the MVP Conte. 
He finds Conte. To Hamad. To Mikhail. Seeing Brooks taking it all the way now. Here's Marcus Brooks with the shot. Milan beater. And it is just... Enough. Yakavu now using his speed as a substitute. Too much of a touch there. And I can't keep talking enough about the play of Stefan Karajanovic down this near sideline this second half, finding his players with so much confidence. But for the Lions, time is the enemy. Just over 20 minutes left in this game. They'll need to get two goals if they want to keep this game alive. Ravens looking to add. Argaritas bats it out. S, give Carlton credit. They're still not easing up. Carlton would be beating the number one ranked team in the country for the Ravens. Booted out by Nika. It, not even a little bit. You haven't seen many substitutions for them. They clearly have something that works for this squad, and they're sticking to it, and they know exactly. Board says, I don't know if it's going to happen, but you can never count them out. I do see some Carlton players who owe you a gold medal games. World or shocked Ontario as the Lions lose 3-0.